Hi guys, it's Matt here from pilotpracticeexams.com where you can pass in half the time. So this is a quick video on using the Jefferson CR4 or you can use any of the similar ones, doesn't have to be the CR4 on how to calculate your wind drift, your heading correction and therefore your ground speed. Um, so what we want to do is basically for the beginning pilots is we want to work out how far the wind is blowing us to one side, which it nearly always is unless it's a direct headwind or tailwind, and also how that will affect our ground speed because that's going to affect the time intervals between each location and our fuel burn. So let's take a quick look. Now please be a little bit forgiving with this. Um, the video is being shot upside down for me. So if I do take a little while to explain it, that's why. So let's have a look. So the outer scale, the first thing you do is you set, this is your true airspeed. You see you set it to your aircraft speed. If it, if it was 90 knots, you'd set it there like that, okay? But for this case, we're going to go with 100 knots. The green scale, you set the wind that is blowing at the top. So in this case, it's 0, 090, okay? If it was, say, 150, then I'd set that around there at the top. Then what you do, this scale here, okay, if I'm heading directly into a 0, 090, then that's going to be a headwind. Now this here represents headwind, this represents tailwind, and that's wind from the right, wind from your left. Okay, so what we do is we put a circle, let's say we're going to have 20 knots. We put a circle around 20 with the center of the circle on, on where that vertical line intersects the 20. If it was 15, then you just estimate. Now when it comes to your exams, they should not give you a question that has two choices that um, you could get an error factor on your calculator and get the question wrong. So don't freak out about that. Okay. Occasionally they might give two that are reasonably close, but generally they give one that's sort of further away in the wrong direction. Okay, so now we have put that if we're heading 0, 090 0 at um, and we have a 20 knot headwind, then we have a 20 knot headwind. So now let's look at the second thing we want to look at is we want to put the heading that we're going to head at the top and see what happens to the wind. So let's say that we're going to head 0, 060, 0, which is there. So now what I do is I put that at the top. And that now tells us what our actual wind is relative to where we're going to head. So our actual wind is off to our right. And notice that it is slowed a little because it's not a pure headwind component now. So all we need to do now is we read off from this scale here, okay, across to the middle of the circle, how many knots of headwind we have. So in this particular case, it's 16 knots of headwind, roughly. So our new ground speed is going to be 100 minus our headwind component, which is 16. So our ground speed is actually going to be 14 knots. Okay, so now if you know if that had ended up say around there, that would indicate that we have a tailwind of around about say 14 knots, right? So, but anyway, let's just reset this. So it's 0, 060 0 at the top. We got 16 knots of headwind. So our uh, our ground speed is going to be 84 knots. But what about how much do we need to adjust for that wind that's coming from our right? Okay, so. What we need to do then is read off this column to see what sort of side wind component there is. Now in this case, um, it's basically 10 knots. So all, the, all we do then is we come around this outer scale here to 10, which is there, and we go in 1. Now you notice that's 8, 7, 6, and 5's there. So 10 is closest to 6. So we need to adjust 6 degrees. Now, which way do we need to adjust? Well, we're heading 0, 6, 0, which is basically sort of northeast. And the wind's coming from 0, 9, 0, which is basically east. So that's going to be on our right. So we need to adjust 6 degrees. Instead of he heading 0, 9, 0, we need to head 0, 9, 6. Okay? Because that way we'll be heading further to the right and we'll get blown back to 090. So guys, I've got a bunch of other videos on this and navs and other planning stuff. Just head over to my YouTube channel. 
please give me a like a share or a comment because that is the only way that YouTube knows this stuff's worth sharing and I'm Matt from pilotpracticeexams.com where you can pass your exams in half the time.